our tender safe? Although I guess I should say our water taxi safe because Carnival's yeah. calling them water taxis now. Um, but water, water shuttles, whatever they, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, okay, is it safe? Now, my first thought is, okay, if you're a taller person, sometimes there's a low ceiling, watch your head. Yeah, duck. Um, but what what they really were asking is, can you fall into the ocean? <laughs> um, I hate again, to laugh. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to make fun again, of again. This is where common concerns. sense comes in. Uh, it's and so the thing is, is like there's staff there that are wearing personal flotation devices, yep. you know, life vests. Uh, and so it's relatively safe. Just follow the instructions and listen carefully. Um, don't have one foot on one of the, the ships, either the cruise ship or the tender, and the other one on the bridge at an extended period of time. Always be on one with both of your feet. So, you know, take one quick step, then the other, so that you're fully on the bridge or fully on the ship. Don't have one in each, because then if they start to separate due to the motion of the ocean, mm -hmm. you might start doing the splits and things could get problematic. 21 cruises, I've never seen anyone fall in. No. Nope. Almost every cruise I've been on have had uh, at least one tender part. Several had multiples. I've never even heard a story, really, of someone falling nope. in. I've heard the odd story of, like, a piece of luggage falling uh, or, into or the water. Or a phone or a camera. Because yeah, people dropping holding things. Holding on to items, yeah. But never a person. No. So, I mean, no guarantees. No. Be, you know, be safe. be safe. But, again, don't let your fear, you know, hold you back from experiences. If you're not going to take the tender because you think you're going to be the first person in, like, a million to fall into the ocean... Uh, I think you're letting your fear paralyze you a little too yeah. much. And the thing is, uh, experiences broaden the mind and, and give you more experience. And so you'll be able to, uh, you know, adapt to different situations if you let yourself have experiences. So think about the risk of not letting yourself have the experience. Yeah, and also, because you might have learned something that could protect you in a completely unrelated situation later. So don't, uh, don't let fear paralyze you, I guess is yeah. my message. Yeah, and, and also if you're going to take a picture, stand up, hold on to the stanchion bar or something, you know. Secure yourself before you take that picture. And also have a... Have a, a string or rope around your arm, securing wrist strap. Your, or wrist strap to your uh, camera or your phone. Yeah. So that way, if anything does happen, because it is you know quite bumpy in the waters, depending on how fast the boat's going. Yep. And uh, there there could be a bit of a. Yeah. Uh, if if you find you yourself like leaning out with your camera or whatever, where the camera is above the water. Yeah. Then ideally, you should have it secured to you in some way. A simple Absolutely. little wrist strap. You could get a GoPro wrist strap where the thing's fully mounted with Velcro if you like. We got one of those. You know, there's different options. Uh, you know, or hold it securely with both hands, but that is even taking a little bit of a risk. Yeah. Um, but it's really, yeah, it's more about your property than about your person that mm -hmm. might be at any kind of risk. And even again, 21 cruises, multiple ports, yeah. tons of tenders. I've never even seen property fall in. I've, no. I haven't seen so much as a hat fall in. Yeah. I haven't seen sunglasses, camera, anything. Yeah. So uh, it's an exceptionally rare occurrence. I would think that we're talking like winning the lottery, getting hit by lightning level likelihood of happening. Yeah. So no guarantees, be safe, but Just don't let it Be safe, use caution, and use common sense.